body. <laughs> okay. Um, today I'm going to show you my face paint kit. Now, this is the first YouTube video that I've ever made. So bear with me here. Um, I've gone through several different face paint setups in the past. But this Craft and Go is by far my favorite because it has wheels and legs all built into one. I ordered ordered it last year to my sister's house in the US and my family brought it back for me. All right, so to begin the tour, let's start off with my brushes. The Craft and Go came with this foam insert. I just covered it in beautiful duct tape that my sister brought me back from America. Okay. So I got only my favorite brushes and I spray painted them all black. And for you KonMari fans out there, you will recognize that the brushes are organized in ascending order, smallest to biggest. So we have some Leo Cornell Montmartre. This is just a round brush. I'm not sure which brand. Three different size petal brushes, one angled flat brush, a short flat brush, and these two filbert brushes. And this next part also brings me a lot of joy because of the contrast of the bright colours with the white. <laughs> so nice. Um, this part is inspired by Kara's video. I'll put the link in the description. She has a beautiful face paint kit. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get the same containers as her in Australia. I tried everywhere, but the shipping from America is ridiculous. So I used these square melamine containers and I'm quite happy with them. I just used the 3M Velcro strips to attach the heavier paints to my Craft & Go. It keeps the paints much more stable than mag magnets would. Initially. I used magnets. The paints went everywhere. I'm glad I made the switch. So that's my paint collection. I'm adding more as I go. I do use the smaller paints as well. These are my glitters. They look really pretty when you put them on top of white, pink and black. These are my one strokes. I love them all so much. Most of them are tag or global effects. I kind of want to dome them. I watched this lady on YouTube who makes her one strokes convex so that they don't pull at the sides and blur all the colours together. I'm going to show you how I attach the magnets which work pretty well on the one strokes because they're much lighter than the single large solid colours. I'm using duct tape because it is a far superior method to glue. Now moving along, these are my water buckets. They are called scrunch buckets. They are easy to transport and they are really light. When I am finished with them and want to tip out the water, I can just fold it up so it doesn't spill. And then I can use the tip as a spout to stop the water from making a mess all over the sink or drain where I'm tipping the water. Then I have these glitters. I don't have much, but they work well. I have global effects and tag pink. Now, this is my mirror. I really like it. I purchased it off eBay. I spray painted black to match the whole kit and the brushes. It used to be turquoise, but the red paint sunk into the fabric. It's fully padded and very heavy duty. Before this mirror, I had probably gone through about three mirrors. These are my stencils. I have just stuck them on there with Velcro like that. I like it because they're so evenly spaced and they stay that way. When you open your kit after transport, you don't get a wonky surprise. <laughs> These are my split cakes. They are stuck to the kit with 3M Velcro 
To use them, I just wet the sponge and wipe it across the cake. This is my gem adhesive. It is just eyelash glue. I don't have any gems in this kit at the moment because I paint for many families that have young children. Um, this is my spray bottle. It works pretty well. It has a little magnet attached to it. This is the tag powder that I use mainly as a blush. It's it, got a pretty pigment, but it, it doesn't blend that well. Using magnets on your supplies doesn't always stick that well. Velcro, however, is a much better option for heavy supplies. Plus, it keeps everything in order. It's so much tidier. Attached to my kit, I have a whole bag of clean sponges that I use for the duration of the gig. Some baby wipes. And, and then I use this to put the old sponges in. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.